guys, so let's look ahead to races in June and July. So yes, races for June and July. As usual, I'll pick, up, pick out a handful of races, but the full list of races will be in my Google Docs document, which I'll link in the description box below. I regularly update that as soon as new races appear. So if you're looking for a race for an upcoming month, check it out. Um, and as I say, I constantly update it. So new races might appear kind of midway through the month. So yeah, check it out, but it's in the description box below. And obviously, if you're a race director and I don't have your race in my calendar, please drop me a link and I will put it in the calendar. I kind of keep my calendar for kind of Devon, bit of Dorset, bit of Cornwall, and bit of Somerset, kind of the Southwest. But of course, if it's a mega fantastic race drop me a message anyway and I'll put it in there even if it's far afield because you never know someone might be going on holiday your way so yes June obviously starts with the bank holiday weekend so a, some races are happening on Thursday the 2nd so Thursday the 2nd is also the start of the White Star running weekend at the races that goes from thursday evening into sunday we have everything from five miles to a half marathon through frolic and kids races also on the thursday the second in the morning it's the cranbrook running club jubilee races and that's a 5k 10k and a children's race and that all kind of starts at about 9 30 in the morning Moving on to Saturday the 4th, here in Honiton, it's the Jubilee run. We have one mile, three mile and seven miles around Honiton. And there's a medal for you guys and it'd just be great to get all the family there. One Venture will have a little stall on the playing field where it starts and finishes but our main shop will still be open in Holland so pop along if you're looking for some more running gear. Looking towards the end of the month of June we have on Saturday the 19th out at Escort we have the Rainbow Run for Children's Hospice Southwest. I did and it's a 5k so you run a 5k and there's paint stations and people throw paint at you and you just finish looking really bright and colourful, loads of colours. So it's a really good idea to wear some light clothing so it shows up the colours and all washes out but it can not fully become white again. So obviously wear some old kit or nip to the nearest charity shop and get some kit for that. I did this exact rainbow run at the extra race course with my friend Meg. We're talking 10 years ago, I wanna say. It's a long time ago, but it is so much fun. So that's Saturday the 19th, and it's a great way to have some fun with the whole family and raise awareness and money for Children's Hospice Southwest here in Devon. If you're looking for an evening race at the end of the month on the 29th of the Wednesday, an evening race, we have the 10K over at Fordy Abbey in Somerset. Fordy Abbey in Somerset. Somerset, Dorset, Border, Somerset. Um, beautiful evening race. It's a tough multi terrain race, but a great way to spend a Wednesday evening. As I say, there's a 10K and a 1500 metres children's run that is organised by Chard Road Runners. So looking ahead to July, again picking out a few races. So um, first weekend in July the 2nd and 3rd we have the 
running events, summer challenge. So that is a lapped race, which is about seven hours. You can do as many laps as you like, and it's a 5.3K lap. One of my favorites on the scene, and Jenny and Tim are so lovely. Um, on Sunday the 3rd, we have LME, LM event, Barmy Bict in 10K. So that is a off-road 10K, which starts and finishes at Bicton College. Saturday the 9th is the Otter River and Rail Run, which is a 10K multi-terrain run, which starts and finishes at Tipton St. John. It runs along the, the river towards Hartford, back through the woods, kind of the old railway line, a little loop at the back of Tipton and back in. There's also a fun run, and that's a great way to spend a Saturday morning and it's a reasonably flat 10k too. On Saturday the 16th evening, early evening, five o'clock, it's one of my favourite races, it's the Hay to Hella over by Team Bridge Trotters and that is on Dartmoor at Hay to, hence the name. It is a beautiful sometimes hot sunny evening six just over six miles lots of climbing because you start halfway up hay tour then you kind of run along the valley the old railway line drop down then you head up another tour down the other side and then back up the side of hay tour and it's a nice super downhill finish but one of my favorites so hay tour hella is a must if you like evening runs, trail and beautiful scenery. Sunday the 24th is the Walter Rally Round Half Marathon by Climb Southwest. I did the first version of this back in January which is really super muddy but we did have a glorious day with beautiful views across the southwest coast path when you're heading from Ladrum Bay back to Budley but a beautiful half marathon route for you and hopefully be a really beautiful sunny day. To end the month we have the Cider Weekend with White Star Running. So everything from there's the Cider Sessions, there's a Frolic and there's 10k and children's races as well. So there we have it, a little just picked out a few races that are coming up in June and July, but as I said, the full list will be in my Google Docs, which is in the description box below. So go and check it out and hopefully some glorious summer runs, especially the ones in the evening, which just means you have the day free and you can race in the evening. So hopefully you all, all manage to enjoy a race over Jubilee weekend if you can because obviously it's gonna be a one-off medal that's never gonna be repeated in our lifetime and probably will never be repeated for someone to be on the throne for 70 years. So yeah, go and find yourself a Jubilee race. I'm gonna be doing um, the Honiton one on the Saturday morning before I go to work, so yeah. Find yourself a Jubilee run and get a very special medal. And plus it'd be a great way to dress up in red, white and blue or dress up as a queen or whatever takes your fancy. So as I say, as I always say, please like and share this video to anyone who's looking for upcoming races. Please like this video and whatever you do, hashtag killing it.